here they are you saw that clip these are the shavings and I'm going to show you what I do with my shavings So apparently I'm out of thick set. I may have to get some more and then finish pouring this. All right, we got another pour. This should be the last pour. And then we're gonna put it into the uh, vacuum chamber for five or 10 minutes and then we'll go into the pressure pot again overnight. This is two to one this time though. I don't know if this is gonna work. I kinda did it wrong, so. Once we put this into the pressure pot or the vacuum or the pressure pot, we may have to put a little bit more in there. So I'll be right back. I really hate doing this, but I got no way to attach this because the bowl here is off center. And so I need to flatten this down, put it on my cold jaws and do a recess in here. So yeah, I'd never done this little thing here, but I didn't have another piece of wood to put in there. So let's get this done. That's about as flat as it needs to be. All right, here it is mounted up on the lathe. Uh, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna flatten this whole thing out and then I'm gonna put a, a recess in there. And this one's a lot harder to do than the other resin shavings. The smaller resin shavings like these right here are a lot easier to cast. Uh, and they, but they have a different look and I, I have never done these shavings well, not to a major extent, and I wanted to try them. It's kind of neat because there's a couple of bubbles in here. They're like frozen in there. I hope they get frozen in the side where you can see them, but it's, uh, it's pretty neat. So let's get to turning. All right, let's try this again. Alright, I've got a couple of pin holes here, so we're gonna...
that wood I put in here to fill up some of the resin went all the way down. It went, went all the way down and you know we saw it on the bottom. Now it's inside. I'm gonna have to just leave. It'll just have to be a I guess I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's just gonna have to stay there. All right, let's start sanding this thing. Oh man, look at that's gonna be kind of neat. And I always do the outside first because if I do the outside and it drips on the edge, I can go back and re-sand that edge down. So while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and put the logo on. disappointed uh i've never been i've never done the the resin finish on well i have but uh on one of my recycle bowls that i do and this one this one actually <laughs> looks pretty badass uh all the the burl just suspended in the air and stuff but you got a whole bunch of stippling down here everywhere else it's just gorgeous where it's where it's on inside and out but it's just got some stippling up here that I, I couldn't, I can't get rid of. I have to sand it down to get rid of it. <clears throat> uh, you saw I did mess up. I pushed the wood down a little bit too far in this thing, but it kind of makes it kind of makes it look a little, little kind of cool. So, uh, I also did a resin on the bottom here to hold in my, my logo. I see Doug do that all the time. I don't really dig it. So I don't know if I'm going to do that too much often. But, <clears throat> yeah, not really happy with that bowl, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, they're, they're production bowls. I do uh, three or four of them, and I'll sell them on my website. So, it, 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 all right, well, I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you could, head on down, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when stuff's coming out. Hit that thumbs up button, and if you could, please share the video. It really helps me out. So, all right, well, until next video, stay cool. Thank you.